I, I guess the reason why they decided to go for Dragonite is that they needed this stun. A little bit of lack in the control department. So Rubik Mars, not your most reliable stuns. Maybe they can be called reliable when Mars is playing by Collapse. FY. Uh -oh. FY in a little bit of trouble. Stun comes out. Got the Nether Blast and the chase is on. Meanwhile, though, Collapse, who's going to be given up first, but it's Collapse and FY drops. And the chase is on a little bit from Azure Ray. Lowe was ready to keep rolling and. Collapse was not in range to do so. He was also level 5, maybe with the arena. There was that backstab play that we did mention, but it's Pagna. He can't really set things up much. Like Huge toss. He's it's a tanky not the boy. easiest kill. Yeah, he is tanky. He's going to be decrepified. So you can't really attack him to turn around Laurel, not with a lot of mana, so he'll be okay. And Wu's the one who goes into the high ground, or into the top lane. High spot of the map, and Yatoro's dead. This is a move that... You don't see often. It's usually the supports that go through the twin gate, but low ready to go, go up high, go towards the the, the top lane, and meanwhile Mira, or Ori comes over, and they've got themselves another kill. This is great moves from Azure. This is pretty massive. Yatra was only one or two CS away from level six. There still has hand of Midas, so he'll definitely catch up. Nine minutes into the game, arena. first arena. Toy around on a TM Inc. So, yeah, that's a kill. Maybe you want to do something a little bit more with that first arena. Of course, you don't really have a jump with that. Uh, you don't have that blink dagger, nor is it usually the first item you go for on Mars. But Collapse dies to low, and he gets another kill. So, there's one movie that I have in my watch list that is Paul like, Bart 2. No, the Paul Bart Cop Mall 2. <laughs> Paul the, Bart Cop Mall. Well, Capo, Yatro. Yeah, Ball Lightning, he's they're going jumped. in for the Arc Warden, and Yatoro's in trouble. The Vortex is there, and they get the kill. Box got a killing spree. Things looking pretty good for Azor Ray when they're able to be the aggressors. He Almost does like have a blink dagger. Yeah. Man. It's pretty good timing. 14 minutes into the game. You don't necessarily need to battle with Battle Fury. So no, no, some no. people, you know, read the description of an item. They're like, okay, I gotta go. Like, I, I need to fight. <laughs> Toss up into the air, and Spear misses. They get the kill to collapse. They will still toss, but there's the Blink Dagger purchased. Battle Fury as well. First, rush this Eternal Shroud to be as tanky as possible. Get that Shiva's Guard, the best item for an offlaner at the moment. I want to know if Eternal Shroud is actually a reference to Shroud. Blink Avalanche, finger used. Yatoro in some trouble, but he's going to survive with the arena, arena around. Too. That's problematic. TM Ing as well as FY both die on the side of Azura Ray. A great counterplay by the side of Team Spirit, so really well done there. Absolutely, Troll was not in position, even though Ori was holding. Oh, oh big kill. Told. Yeah, Ori going for it, and he got him. Ball lightning all the way in, and that was such aggression from Ori. I think you need a BKB in this game. Like, there are a lot of stuns, and also having a little bit of extra mana region. We've seen, oh, TN Bane getting no, tossed back. Toss. Yeah, that's a kill on a TM Ing. Again, these supports have died quite a bit on the side of Azure, right? The Kai Sanj if necessary, but after seeing the Orchid, he's like, I'm really glad I'm committing to this BKB. There we BKB. I wonder if that is going to be a problem later down the line if this game doesn't end early. But they get the kill in FY again, and their support ends up dead. It definitely does. They also don't have like abilities that go through debuff immunity, like no, no real stuns. Mm -hmm. Showing up on the tier two, Blink Dragon Tail Spear connects with a silence. They just clean up Ori. That's under the tier two tower, no fear. Telekinesis on the Bach and they'll send him packing. And it, they just are not afraid to make a jump like that under the tier two tower. He's also super tanky, holding the dragon scale, Again? has a mage slayer, Same another spot. kill. Toss up into the air, they've got the Orchid, it's gonna be on the FY, Spear comes through, doesn't connect, they get the kill on the TM Ming, they'll take out one. Life another drain. toss stolen. Putting the life back there into Laurel. There's the toss. FY in trouble. Avalanche onto everybody. The chakra right on top of them, but FY's trying to run the spear. It's going to connect onto a tree. They get the kill onto another. Three heroes dead right now on the side of Azura Ray while Team Spirit lose nothing. They're bringing in numbers. They're basically playing with six heroes at the moment. Yourself, maybe keep this Yasha for now, but definitely a BKB needed as well. This Observer Ward that they placed right in front of the middle tier two tower does allow them to get multiple kills out of it. They're not done. Dragonite again. Jeez. Not allowing Ori to farm his BKB. He's still a recipe away. And I think that smoke there from Azure Ray 
They knew that they'd shown low on the bottom lane, and I almost probably expected Spirit to come Before and fight. We'll have a protection against that Orichid that was picked up early on on Mars. Yep. Picked up a regen rune just recently. Not that he's doing anything with that. Activated it immediately. Dust. Ooh, Mira. In some trouble. Gotta find him. Meanwhile, FY is dead here to Yatoro. Ooh, they're gonna go. They've got the Earth Spike mana draining, and Yatoro's dead. They also got the Tempest double. They were doing the Tormentor. You know, he's that hero that can't get inside of the bubble. So is Timbersaw with the Shiva's Guard Eternal Shroud. They're going to be super tanky. And now going for a Blink Dagger. So opting to go for a Blink Dagger as his third item. Wanted to tank up. Finding FY. Another Blast. Draining. Yules. But they've got Collapse for some help. Maposhka gets the kill. Low is in. Orchid on him from Collapse. They're chasing. The Decrepify is there, but Maposhka run down. Low gets the kill, and Spirit, slowly but surely, they are losing this net worth advantage. Now they killed Pagna again, and you can see the power of this Agatham Scepter on Troll. Dispelling himself, dispelling enemies as well. With the Axis. Kinesis. Going. Work it again. Laurel Zane. They've got the Arena down. He'll pop that Shivas. They've got the Dome on top of them. Mana draining from a distance. Ball lightning. Ori's gonna go. He's gonna go and focus the attention on Amira. With the BKB being popped here by Ori. They're making the chase, but they already lost Bok. They'll end up trading for Mira. The TP attempt. Ori no longer BKB. Not long enough of a TP for Team Spirit to respond. And stuff to be able to bring him down. Does Shiva's guard Eternal Shroud? He's super tanky. So, on mid, going for the tier 2 tower. But Spirit's here to respond. Going in is not that easy. They go to the Glade near now the mana drain. Look at Laurel. He's got no mana remaining. The Tempest double the blink forward from Collapse, but the ball lightning into the Vortex. The control is there with the BKB being popped by Low. Low is going to get this kill on a Collapse if he can. No, the Life Drain's keeping him alive. The finger finally finishes ult, him off. off. They get the kill in Amira. They'll end up trading for TM Ming. His box is going to go forward for Yodoro. Ball lightning in. Ori trying to get the kill. The Life Drain's there once again with the Vortex getting the control into the Arc Warden. He's still alive. Drops down a Spark Wraith. Chakram on top of him. They get the kill into the Arc Warden. They take out Yodoro and look for more. Laurel tossed up into the air. Dragon Tail into Ori. He's got out of mana. The Life Drain from Aposhka. Can they get the kill on the Storm? Spirit? Yes, they can. Laurel on a killing spree. This is Faith Beyond. Bach right on top of Maposhka, who's hidden within the Glimmer Cave. They do not have the vision. The Dragon Tail is used on Bach, but without the extra heroes from Team Spirit, they really can't get this kill onto the Timber Saw. Storm Spirit going for the Axe. So looking for the Blue Hole. The AoE Electric Vortex. Boogie Yogi. We've seen a lot of those. Ooh, Relatively early smokes. on, Shivas. They're gonna go blink, Dragon Tail, Mira is gone already. The suck coming out from TM Ming. The spear's not gonna connect on him, but they still get the kill with the low. damage coming BKBs through. BKBs are down. Yeah, they need to be careful. These BKBs, one more second available on collapses, and that's gone. So they start to retreat. They'll take the Nether Ward. These heroes on Spirit, can they leave Laurel? He's hiding in the trees. Maybe they're looking to reinitiate. They've got themselves the Tempest Double with the Blink Dragon Tail, but the Yule's up into the air. He activates Zone Yule's. They've got the toss back. Laurel Mira with the buyback. felt back. like he might have been tanky, but he's going to get invisible committing. with the Glimmer Cape. They look over at FY. They get the kill into the Tiny. They'll take him out. Laurel's going to be in trouble. The Life Drink's not going to be enough. Ball Lightning all the way to the back. He they wants look over the He's going to decrepify himself, but they go for Yatoro. This is an Arc Ward in all out by himself as low. He's trying to get in there. They get the kill on a collapse. They'll take it to the Mars. Down goes Yatoro. They find themselves their attention on a Maposhka. Another kill into the Pugna. And a Team Spirit lose yet another fight. And they might lose the whole team as Mira blinks away. He's in the Glimmer Cave. And they're searching. Not finding just yet. As that will be the Ogre Seal totem across the river. And he is away. Oh, pick up that banner. Yeah. Arcorden, not really gaining ground in terms of net worth. Kind of hard. They're doing a good job. Spock. Oh, he got good the Lotus. Lotus. Spear, though, that'll connect. Ball Lightning looking for the Vortex. That's going to be an AoE. They got the control of a Poshka. They get the kill of the Pugna. Glaipnir controls up low for a second. The nice BKBs arena. are running out. Collapse, though, with the Arena. Box getting low. Tian Ming will try to drain the mana, but they get the kill on both. So two heroes dead to the side of Azura Raid. Toss up into the air from FY. Timber Chain from Mira, and they've got gem. the vision. They'll get the kill. Ori with a double, and that is a two for two trade, but both supports from Spirit while they do get the offlaner from Azura Raid. 
You ever have a snow globe? I did. Not sure where it went. Oh, finding Big a zip. Toro. Oh, it spotted him in the BKB, the Glade near. He's trying to get away, but won't. Oh, dear. 90 seconds, though, buyback. Which means he's just getting so much gold. Refresher shard. I guess he's going to be the one picking it up. I also wouldn't mind seeing Storm, Storm pick. Full nullifier. That's the big one. Big damage item on collapse, plus also great against these Wind Wakers. Going towards top, maybe finding Yaturu. Got an idea of where he's at. They had an idea. Bots too. He knew exactly where he was at. Or he sniped him. That was him. the ball landing right on top of him. That's insanity. Oof. Buyback is Blink. available. He might need Dragon to use tail, it. If they arena. catch someone. Ooh, do they have the control? Can they get the kill with the BKB being popped here? Goes after the tier three, but collapse goes in. Has that Havoc Hammer, Gleipnir. Reflecting the flux. Hex now in Bach. So that's gonna be another form of control for them. Dragonite is pretty massive, sitting on 6,000 gold, level 26. Avalanche, toss, back, Onoaro pops the BKB, ball ending out of the back lines, both supports it with a Vortex. Mira, a bunch of both gone, they both buy back, Yuturo still holding his. Laurel ends up dead, and they need to be careful. The BKB is gonna run out soon on Collapse. And now the drain, is it gonna be enough? Low just taking the high ground, taking the melee racks, Yuturo's back alive. Pretty good, a good way of controlling people, tossing them back. God's Rebuke plus 65% crit. Still long 20 seconds, they have no glyph. Lotus Orb once again, the sign's gonna be bounced back. They look for the spear, but it's a whiff. They've got Collapse in their grasp with the Earth Spike landing. The Mana Drain's there, they get the kill to Collapse. They'll take out Mira, Mira's not gonna have buyback, neither will Collapse. The Life Drain's doing nothing, the bottom set of Axe are gone. And Laurel's finally back alive. They get jumped before again committing Collapse. a buyback or respawning. Yeah, he's short 400 gold for his buyback. And that's big. He's the big controller. So they're going to be most likely playing against Mega Creeps. They they need to prep for it. Laurel. Laurel in the trees. Potentially getting caught here, but he is the big black dragon. Oh, Vortex pulling him, popping the Lincolns, BKB. Now Laurel Another popping a BKB, they've got the Vortex, they'll clean up Yatoro as well as Maposhka. The buyback's gonna be used by the Arc War, and they go after the Troll. BKB from Ori, Yule's up into the air, trying to survive, he'll TP out. Kenny, ooh, the right clicks, and he's not gonna be able to TP away. Ooh, can he get out though? No, the toss, Ori's away! They've got the air spike on both heroes! Oh my god, they got him out somehow! Laurel's gonna be drained out, fingered up, killed off, gone, has buyback. It's Yatoro and Laurel against the world. They call GG, and game one goes to Azure. Uh, what a performance, man. Ori caught them multiple times. This Aghanim Scepter really paying off. In the end, he was all over the place. First, he catches Yatoro, which does allow them to go and chip a little bit of a base. Then he jumps the back lines, finds both supports. Some top tier stuff coming out from Ori in this game. With the combo. Five and three. Laurel owning. Into the two and two of Ori. And I guess my question was going to be, do you have to stay in lane? Is Ori here for the TA? But collapse. That's the first blood. He's going to give up first blood to low. So that is not who you want to be giving up first blood to. And it's Collapse dying to give up first blood again. It's away before the blast off. I don't think they get that kill anyway, because he had 12 in. magic wand charges. Another Timber grenade is collapse. available. Sticky bomb and the whirling death. They get the kill. Nobody here rotating. So they get on the board finally. And this has been the build on Brewmaster nowadays. Double bracer into Vlad's. And then pick up Radiance. They're coming. Again. Avalanche. It should be coiled and tossed. It and will snap. snap this time. Maybe this time it'll it snaps, but does he get out? Freezes over and still alive. Primal split. Ori up on the high ground. Vortex is down. The melt strike and the kill. Ori turned it around. TMing is dead again over bottom. But Lowe's going to chase. He'll Ooh, get collapse. Kills. And they don't get what they came for. And that was Ori. Box back to form under the tower. So that's pretty big. As long as you can stay in the lane for a long period of time. As these trolls as Medusa, we've seen Bedboom when they were playing 
with Medusa, they were unable to kill this yeah. tower for a really long time. Cinderbrew, and it just ignites with the trap, so he is going to burn out. They bring over Morphling. Yatoros here, Dream Coil. But again, Dream Coil isn't going to get anything. They think about the reactive taser. It, they get the kill on the TMing, but he's Low's so here. willing to sacrifice himself to get, get a root. Yatoro or any of the cores out of it. Adaptive strike, Yatoro on the run. He ends up dead. Low's on a killing spree. If you're going to come over, hell, we'll bring over our allies as well. Whew. They could still go. It's pretty similar to using a courier during a smoke if they're paying attention. Battle Fury, 13 minutes There's into the game. On this side, Dream boot. Coil on it too. Ice Blast, that's not going to connect, but they still get the kill on the FY. They're going to Primal Split. Oh, Blast off on it. Two heroes collapses. Gone. Miro looking like he's next. They both fall. Low is dominating. Cyclone, Illusory Orb trying to jump away. Waning Rift, Silence is up too. Laurel's trying to it's get away, but he's stunned shift, up. They might get him. Oh boy, that vo Void Panda doing work as well. They got the stun from the Earth Panda, and they will get the kill on a Laurel. They do finish off TM Ming, but the Tier 1 Tower follows it. I, yeah, that's... I never thought about that. That's the only time you can steal your allies' abilities. Maposhka, he's dead. Ori not afraid. Just so far in. He is so happy with what he's got in this game. But the Timber Chain, they're on him. Up into the air with the Yules. Ori, he should have been afraid. Ooh, that's giving up a lot of gold, too. And it's all to Yatoro. I think they were trying to do Roche. As you're right, they're not farming anything. We'll get some gold from Roche, of course. And Lo, we'll pick it up. Spirit Vessel being delivered. No charges on it, though. Collapse Gotta be great Yules, on Collapse. Who does have Yule Scepter, so... Mirror's coming in. Sticky Bomb. Not that they're ready. That connects. Blastoff's there. Telkinesis on the Timber Chain. And there's the Shard that's the Silence. They get the kill. They'll take out Collapse again. Easy goal. Oh, Lowe's taking the bottom tier, too. He's got the Yasha. He's almost got the Manta. Dragon Lens as well. Dragon Scale, not Dragon Lance. Pardon Tower me. goes down low. He's got the ult. Dream Coil committed. It's going to snap. And they'll take it the Aegis. So that's just Aegis for now. Bach, he's ready with Primal Split. If they want to jump in on to low, it's uh, so risky. I don't quite find anybody. Not yet, at least. So low just continues to farm. The smoke is used by the side of Azor. Ray blink in. They've got the silence with the trap. They go to the Primal Split. The control is on Laurel, and they clean him up. FY with the Fade Bolt finish. 40 seconds without this puck. I mean, Lo is able to do anything he wants while he's farming, and the rest of his team can fight. They split. They look for more. They've got the blast off. Toss up into the air. Mira's gone. That's another. Cyclone as Bach comes back to form. Can Yatoro even help? Thunderclap. Hits the ground. They've got another silence. Maposhka on the run. Cold Feet freezes over, but they don't quite have the damage to just fight back at all. Not having a fun time. Definitely not happy about that one. They might go. He's thinking They've he got... wants to blink in. Split is going to be available pretty soon. Blast off silence. There's the clap. They've got the telekinesis. Yatoro's blown up. They waited for so long. They set the trap. What does FY have? He doesn't have anything stolen at the moment. I believe his toss did expire. Great Ooh. ability. Same goes for Avalanche. Can they catch Collapse here? They've got Bit the of a silence. silence. He's in trouble. This is just a minus armor. The Metal Strike, the Deso, he's got it. Like, the damage, it's there. They just need to keep him controlled. And at the end of the day, it's tough. But the Metal Strike, the Cinder Brew, and another red click from Ori is enough to put two charges onto this Deso. <laughs> so that's going to be some extra damage. Rubik always good against Timber. Pure damage that you steal from him. They go after Mira. They find another. BKB. All right. Yeah, he that, wants that kill. Yeah, hell yeah. He's in. But Yatoro, does he respond? No. He can't. Next Roshan in the minute. And they're taking enemy. Okay. Oh, they're getting got a lot shard. of these shards. This is a pretty they nice shard. They have four shard. shards already. 15,000 net worth lead. This is going to be interesting. So they're going to jump. Dream Coil, that's going to be down. Not going to snap it. It's only on the FY. 
And the chase is on. Timber Chain Low trying to find an opportunity to go in on anything. Ice Blast is not going to connect on the FY either. Nobody's dead on the side of Azor Ray just yet, but do they fully commit onto this? They use the Primal Split from Bach. Timber Chain away. They've got Bach going in with the stun that's going to hit on the collapse. The chocolate oh, that's going to be stolen from FY. Let's now go. they're going to use that. Oh, Lowe's <laughs> trying to go in. He's trying to find something. He's trying to get the control on the Yodoro. They've got the Cyclone. It's on to Laurel. The Silence, the Avalanche, the toss up into the air, and they might even lose low. He's in so much trouble. The Cold Feet as well as the Ice Vortex. He's out of the fight. They didn't get anything more than collapse just yet, and Laurel wants to go back in. Illusory Orb, Cold Feet on the FY. Once again, the Ice Vortex is down to the ground. The Avalanche as well as the Toss. They've got themselves a second. Maposhka with a double kill. Ori on the retreat with the help of TM Ming. They'll blink away, and the chase from Team Spirit will end. And look at the and item choice. Near. Yataro has Gossamer Cape, so move speed, miss chance by guaranteed miss attack from Troll, which is pretty big. Blink, Lock. clap. Bach. I don't know what spot he wants to be in though. Roche. Oh, TM Ming tried to get it in there, but he couldn't. So now there's an Aegis on Yatoro. This is a way to get back in. They were up 14,000 net oh, worth, and now it's back. just cutting down. They bought back from 14,000 to 8 real quick. Well, I don't know if they're getting anything out of this one. They want to wait. Look at where Larl is. They're setting things up. If they can get it. It's a lot of damage coming in from Ori, and I feel like he's going to be that, that backup here for low. Blink, Mira gets into the trees. Bach going, looking for Maposhka. There are heroes here for the side of Team Spirit. You need to be careful. They'll go and kill off Maposhka. Ice Blast was used. Cold Feet, Primal Split. That's going to be it. It doesn't freeze over. Mira is starting to take some damage here from Ori. They've got the stun. It's going to be on the collapse. Right clicks in. Low trying to do his thing. And that will start to He's speed up it. as they'll rip through the timber. So they'll get the second kill. Yatoro losing his courier. And they kind of get a glimpse of where he's at. They wanted to go for Yatoro. They might go high ground. Meld dispels now, and the rest of that Daedalus is flying out. So they're smoking. They've they've purchased the smoke. It's on the courier. Low showing himself. Avalanche toss. Dream coil. Uh oh. Oh, dead. In a heartbeat. He is gone. Fy as well. He's dead. How? Low is just so overconfident, sitting in the middle lane like that. This is pretty massive. This is why Team Spirit is one of the most fearsome teams in the world. Sending the illusions over. Trying not to give too much information from Azor Ray. Mira, he is lucky. It's blessing. Blink in. Box is going to go. They go to the Dream Coil, but it's only going to be on a box. Good left. I mean, this is great. They've got the Cyclone. It's on to oh, the Timber the Saw. They look over and they get the kill onto Mira. So collapse, Ooh. the trap is down. They're looking for the vision, the timber chain out. They're down one hero already with Roche back up. Let's get the Axe Blessing. You've got these pandas going in. They're going to be forced to buy back on Mira. But that can was you nice go again? done from Spirit. They baited BKB from low and also Primal Split. So again, more illusions come in. The trap is down. They don't see that Roche is being done. Scouting constantly. <laughs> it's traps. Low using his Mantis style and also using the Spurser to speed things up. His BKB is coming off oh, cooldown. They smoke. BKB is soon to be off cooldown. Box going to be up to the high ground. They go to the Avalanche. They've got themselves the damage coming through on Amir. Mira's He's going to be dead for 78 seconds. They'll buy back. They trap, trap on the three. On a two. Collapse in trouble. He's going to be hit with the Avalanche that was stolen over, and he's going to be in some trouble here. They back off into the Roche pit. They've got the silence onto Laurel once again. Roche down to about half health. They're down back behind the Roche pit. They're TPing away. Can I get a Whoa, stun? Oh, they're TPing out. Collapse. He's on the run. The right clicks are there. They've decided to concede the Roche. They needed to fall back, so now you have this Roche. Oh, my. They also used the buyback on Mira, so immediately he comes in. First time he got lifted by FY. So things are going to get much easier. 23k gold lead for Azure Ray. Bottom set of racks. Well, he's going in. He's got the Aegis. There is Glyph. Avalanche. Hex. He got hexed Still got the toss, again. though. Dream Coil popped. Ice Blast thrown forward. They get the Aegis. So the Ice Woo. Blast doesn't do anything. Goes up into the air. Primal Split. Low. They, no, they, the he racks. does not have a buyback. So they can go through the mid. Low. He doesn't care about Cold Feet, but he needs to be careful. And I think... Low, truthfully, if he sees Yatoro, he'll swap up to an MKB real quick, right? You need to. You need to have either a Bloodthorn or an MKB, because right now, Templar Assassin Maposhka, doesn't have it. Collapse, Low, he's the one in the front. They've got this trap. It pops. The silence is there. The Primal Split's going to be used. Collapse, he's the one who has the Hex. 
So he, he's the one with no buyback. Yeah, he's got no buyback and he is dead. Rolling Death is going to be stolen. They'll go with the Disperser speed, trying to catch anybody else. The Vortex is down. These Brewings are in the base. They're searching for anybody, and they're going to find Yatoro. They got him up into the air with a Cyclone, but the right-click damage coming up from Ori. It's on the Tier 3. So, racks are exposed, and that will at least be half. No, they're on the back lines looking for the Ice Blast, and it's going to be on the Rubik. That's the one they want to take out. The toss back avalanche, though, it doesn't connect. Oh, it's actually not that stone great. Off. Right before he goes back from the split, they get the stone, they get the kill on Amira. He's not going to have buyback either. It's two heroes down on the side of Team Spirit. Low is dominating, looking up at the top set of racks, and they're going to be able to take it with ease. This is going to be Megas. At least. Roshan, potentially up in minute and 30 seconds. I think it's time to go. Try to close it out. Yeah. There's no tiny, so he can't toss you. Oh, and it's going to be the fake, fake back. back. Smoke. Zore. Looking. They want the Hex, Yatoro, Yatoro. they, they see, see him. him. They've got the Hex, that was from FY. They hit him up with the Telekinesis, they lift him up into the air, but he's gonna pop the Manta and waveform back to his team. They're starting on these tier four towers. The building damage is immense from the side of Azor Ray. That dragon is only a cosmetic. It can't help the side of Team Spirit. It can motivate them maybe, but they lose a tier four. Team Spirit, they need to find their way in. Blink forward from Bach. He's gonna be silenced for a moment. They turn to the TA, but there's the Hex again on the Morphling. Yatoro. Sitting back, they've got the Glyph, it's on the last tier four, they dropped on the Dream Coil, but they've got a stolen Dream Coil, that's gonna be placed down as well. They go in and get the kill on the FY, they're gonna look towards the rest. FY Waro comes back. in, FY's got Boots of Travel, by the way, so he's able to get back into the fight. Cole can't he find buys the target. back, and they're looking over, got he's trying root. to find a target, he goes down and collapse. He's this dead is a again. He's in so much trouble, he's gonna be dead for 89 seconds, yatoro has gone for 90. He is dead without a buyback, they've got the BKB, they look over at Yarl, they got themselves the stun. That's Illusory game. Orb trying to get away, they find themselves near, they've got the Tiny up in their hands, up into the the air. There's the Yules. It's not going to help. They get the kill again. Laurel just trying to survive, but I don't think it's going to matter. It's looking like Azor Ray have knocked out the side of Team Spirit. They take the 2-0. I mean, this is two-time champions. Azor Ray, huge underdogs, and they take the series 2-0. Absolutely beautiful execution of the team fights. Great itemization. These double hexes, and you can see the boys being very happy about this That's one. That's insane. You know, their first showing pretty much on land yeah. in 2024. New squad for Azure Ray looking really strong.